Is technology the most effective way to improve crane safety in Saudi Arabia? I'm Oscar Russo, this is Dennis Daniel, welcome to Construction Week in Focus. Last month, a mobile winch crane collapsed at the Mecca Grand Mosque in Saudi Arabia, where three years ago, a crawler crane had toppled over as well. Dennis, no fatalities were recorded here, which is a good thing, but what are stakeholders in Saudi Arabia doing to improve crane safety in the construction sector? Well, trains are not designed to crash. They are a sophisticated piece of equipment, and so the human element of using cranes is important. Staff training should be the major priority, and rightly, Numerous companies are taking initiatives in this direction. For instance, NFT and Potain recently took their Safety First campaign to Saudi Arabia. As part of the program, NFT and Potain professionals also met with contractors working on the Riyadh Metro. So steps are being taken to boost crane safety awareness in Saudi Arabia. Okay, which is obviously a clearly a good thing to see that companies and stakeholders are taking the necessary steps and traditional awareness and training mechanisms are in place to boost operator awareness. But how, maybe if at all, Dennis, are technology companies helping this along? Are they doing stuff in the sector at the moment? Crane simulators are playing a huge role in improving operator training and awareness. Companies such as CM Labs, AMCS and Cirrus Labs have all developed simulators to help crane users. This is really important because uh, cranes are complex and costly pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. Using simulators means crane owners eliminate the costs and the risk of untrained or novice operators working on the machines. Okay, and that's really interesting to see people using digital software to improve crane safety, you know, to allow contractors to work and do that. It's obviously clearly appears to be much like any other industry where the kingdom's equipment sector is also set to be disrupted by emerging technology. So a really fascinating uh, development in the sector and something we should certainly look for moving forwards. Thank you, Dennis. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive regular updates about our videos. New episodes of Construction Week in Focus are published each Tuesday at 9am. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.